In this video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite concepts from Gun Bunch to just simply work the ball up and down the field. And it's just an incredible spacing concept. It's a setup out of double post that I don't see a lot of people running. And so I wanted to kind of bring this as a highlight uh, to the community because I think this is maybe even better than the original way that most people like to run the double post. I'm going to show why in this video. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. My name is Cody. I do new videos every single day on YouTube. I also wanted to let you know that if you want to get my full uh, gun bunch guide, gun bunch is certainly the meta this year. It's the best offense in the game and if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive guide it's not just out of one playbook it's actually just the formation gun bunch or bunch offsets so for example we cover the seattle seahawks gun bunch we cover the indianapolis bunch we cover the carolina bunch we cover the washington bunch any gun bunch offense we cover this season for you guys so if you want to run gun bunch it's really a great it's a great resource for you and it's only 15 bucks so it's super affordable and uh, anyway, let's just drive, dive into the video. But if you want to get the, the guide, it's in the description. There's a link down there that you can click. So Gun Bunch Offset Double Post out of Carolina. It's in a lot of other playbooks as well. But let's just dive into it. And you don't have to have double post to do this concept. But I find that the tight end flat route from double post is insanely good. Like, it's just really, really good. So first and foremost, we're going to run this against the meta Mike Blitz 3 meta Mabel coverage. Um, this is probably the number one coverage that you're going to see online, I would argue. Um, it's probably one of the better coverages. So anyways, let's just show how this works. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the R1 receiver on a drag route. We're going to put the square receiver on a drag. And then what we're going to do with the running back is we're going to put him on a wheel route or a swing route, okay? I like the swing route personally. He's our last read. He's not our primary read. You could also put him on a table route uh, if you wanted to. You'll see here on a table route, um, or you could put him on a wheel route, okay? So a couple different options for the running back. But the first read on this is always the tight end. And what you'll see is whether whether or not they have hard flats is not going to let them stop this. So right there, I had hard flats. I shaded down. It didn't work, right? Um, it's really hard to stop this route, to say the least. It's really, really hard to stop this route. I'll say it one more time. It is really, really hard for the defense to stop this route. Whenever you pair it with a drag, which is why um, this is a little concept for you from Madden 22, pairing flat routes with drag routes really does glitch the defense this year. I don't know why, but it just really does put them in the bind. You'll see here that was hard flat from the slot corner. Not going to happen. So now let's try a Tampa 2 just so we can show you that we've tried all of these uh, different coverages. I'm going to put a hard flat to the Tampa 2, and then I'm going to put a curl flat out there so we have kind of a Mabel concept um, or double flat zones. And just take a look here. Outside corners in a hard flat. Now he does the best job, but obviously if the outside corners in a hard flat, this is personally why I absolutely love this this flat route from double post. Because let's say that they run the tight end or they run the they run that guy into a hard flat coverage. Well, what you're going to see happen is the tight end now is going to be at a significant advantage because of the whole totality of the route. So you see here he's going to cut up field, and then you're just going to let him clear. And obviously the curl flat did match me, but if they're playing zone drops, he's if they're playing zone drops, that's not going to happen. Let me give you a little bit more clean of a, an, an example here. So like if this guy right here, let's just say that he was in a a cloud flat and the outside corner was in a hard flat uh now let me show you the same concept now a cloud flat might match but i don't think it does um specifically from three by one so again just watch the wheel route but you'll see here he cuts the side and like i said this is a little bit more indicative and he did match me of course but it's a little bit more indicative of zone drops let me just do one more time to show you kind of what i'm saying what I'm getting at is zone drops. Obviously, if they put a crawl flat out there and they matches them, that's fine. There's so many other things open. We're going to get to that in just a minute. I just want to go over this one concept, and good old practice mode doesn't cooperate with me too well. But anyways, let me just show it to you one more time. If they play hard flat coverage late in the play, that's why I love this because you see there, that's indicative of zone drops. Okay, If they're doing zone drops at 5 and 30 or 15 and 5 or whatever, that's going to be really really effective okay so that's that side with a hard flat now i want to go over the flat on the left side uh to the running back so again you can do several different things with the running back i personally really do like the wheel 
um, because I can outside pass lead it. So if they play hard flat coverage, watch that drag sucks him in. You can outside pass lead it, and you can get upfield for about you know five, five to ten yards. Now, if you were to run, let me show you a swing a swing pattern. Uh, the swing patterns this year are kind of interesting. They're really unique. Um, we've never really had swing routes like this, but watch the back. Just pass lead him to the left. You'll see here he's going to get that little animation where he's running upfield. That's a great animation as well. Um, but the bottom line is, and I'll show you lastly a table route. Once you see the flat zone get sucked in, which it will inevitably happen because you have a drag over there, then you can easily just take this right there, right there, every single time. Super smooth um, as long as your back catches the ball. Now, if you have backfield master, um, you're going to be in a good position. Obviously, most people in MUT, my recommendation would be, to have backfield master and so if you have backfield master on your on your player only costs one ap um you're gonna be in a pretty good spot just wait cut there you see that right there and then you're getting upfield for an easy five to six yards so those two concepts together are really really important first and foremost because they really kind of frame everything else that the defense is going to do because where you're leading the defense is you're leading them to a tampa two and you're leading them to a tampa two with hard flats so let me show you that real quick um, Tampa 2 hard flat, watch this back. You see that he does kind of sit there, okay? But this is where, again, if you use a wheel route or you use something, um, you know, and it sets everything else up, of course. Like we could run verticals against this and kill it. But if you use a wheel route, now watch what happens. Now you've got that first initial cut and then you've got that second cut once he gets over the hard flat. And as you can see, that's a really good little dot right there. So um, those are the two flat route concepts that I really, really wanted to hit on um, because it's so good. Now, uh, another thing that you could do from this, and this is something that I've started doing more recently um, because of how good compression is and just with what it does to the zones. If you bring this guy in and you run the same concept, you'll see the flat gets pulled in just a little bit more and it gives you a little bit more space on this outside. And as you can see right there, you're able to make a little bit a little bit more of an option. Now, this really forces the defense to have to pr protect against a lot of different things that you could do with that motion in. You could run a wheel streak concept and glitch cover three out. I'll show you that real quick. There's a lot that you could do with this um, to make it to where the defense certainly has to kind of have the red flag come up. As soon as you motion this receiver in, basically they can't run cover three. Um, they cannot run cover three because there's so many ways to glitch out cover three I'm just gonna wheel the running back streak that guy and what you'll see here is I can just pass lead this to the left And I'm gonna glitch cover three four one play touchdown So you're not gonna get a lot of cover three, but this is something that's very good against cover two um, because cover two is Those cloud flats are now not as outside as they were which is why people like to base a line against gun bunch we're not going to talk about that in this video um because we're running a little bit short on time but i wanted to give kind of the rest of the concept so um where you're leading people is you're leading people to have to basically do this they're going to play hard flats they're going to play two yellow three yellow zones and they're going to have to try to lurk over the middle of the field well let me show you what happens whenever you get this coverage so obviously your flats are still open but look at how look at your drags and of course i threw it just a little bit too uh i forgot about that three wreck but you're just going to read your drags the flats and the deep post are going to open up significant amount of room for your drags to get separation because of how the game works this year with the yellow zones they really drift back this year and so i love these little yellow zones right in that little pocket right there uh, i find that it's very difficult for the defense to consistently stop these this is also like some of you might be thinking to yourselves well what about me and the man this is my favorite thing to do against man to man um i i can still hit these flats against man coverage i'm not going to waste the time to show you but then i can also i can also hit the post in behind it as well as the double drags one of the drags will always get open one drag will always get open that's kind of the rule of thumb so you're just reading this which drag gets open right there r1 um and again, press man-to-man -man coverage is a lot different than off man-to-man. -man. If they're running press man-to-man, -man, um, they're going to put themselves in a very bad position against this tight end wheel. So what you'll see here is that tight end wheel will get inside leverage. And of course, the good old practice mode, Super Shed D. Um, I can inside pass lead that. I don't want to talk too much about that. I can also hit 
uh, my post route against man-to-man, -man, which is very likely that that's where their user is going to go. But the biggest thing I wanted to show you is these double drags. One of them will always get open against man. Um, they're just going to get to the inside. Obviously, if they shade coverage up, um, you're going to have good. You're going to have an opportunity here. So let me just show you here. So if they shade coverage up, both routes should be. I mean, you, you should have so much open. And they have to shade coverage up because if they don't, you can kill them when you go to the play verticals. So this is truly, right now this is probably my number one play call. Um, I didn't even talk about the post route, but basically the post route, you can throw it against almost any coverage in the game. So you're just going to you're just gonna wait for him to cut inside and underneath that safety, and then you're going to pass lead it inside and click on and make a play. So it's really good against cover four or cover three. Um, it's okay against cover two if they're if they're not using the mid read. If they're using the mid read, it's gonna be more open. You'll see the mid read does a decent job. And again, the super shed D's. But let me show you against Tampa two. The cool part about this post route is you can really wait you can really wait on it this year um to be effective so get some time in the pocket obviously you're going through your other progressions but watch that circle receiver just pass lead him to the left it's like a deep crosser and you see that it can get into a really unique position against the coverage so that's one of my favorite things to do is it's a later read but it's really really successful about 80 percent of the time you're going to be able i wouldn't say 80 percent if they're not using it, it's probably 95% of the time that's going to get open. So you're just going through progressions, da da da, and then bam. See how that deep half sucks inside, and you can hit that as a. It basically turns into a deep crosser, and most people don't know. Most people don't throw that, uh, to be honest, because they they basically go through their progression, and then once they get there, they kind of start scrambling and try to get out of the pocket. And you know, honestly, I find that that's probably the best that this is route is going to happen watch it just gets over crosses once it gets that leverage to the outside then you can throw it and, and basically do a swerve catch on the outside so that route right there is a money route obviously the user if you actually think about where the user is going to be uh, most of the time what's going to happen is the user is going to want to use her in the middle box of the field he's not going to want to use it the sidelines so once they let this go which they inevitably will you can just sit in the pocket, let them let it go, and then just pass lead it down and away, and then you can click on and make a play with Antonio Brown. So, you know, that route is really, really effective against it, – it's really good against every single coverage. Um, the one coverage that I've given – can give this a little bit of tri trickery is cover four uh, if they bring their safeties into the box – but everything's open underneath against cover four. So anyways, I won't take any more of your time. I just wanted to go over this concept because I really do think that by opening up the middle of the field, because you use two flats, use two flat routes to open up the middle of the field. This is going to be so good because the hard flats can't cover the running back this year. So look at how they get sucked inside just like that. And I can consistently throw that for five to 10 yards every single time. Um, obviously, if you can get good with the swing route, I think the swing route is probably the best route because it just kind of drifts. So you just pass lead that up and you see here I can get my guy in motion. And again, even though that's two to three yards, it keeps the offense on schedule. Also, not even talking about how hard it is for them to stop this route over here. This route right here is your money route. It's the best route in the game. And this concept forces you to really abuse it. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my Gun Bunch Offensive Guide, there is a link in the description. All you got to do is go click that link, and take you over to the website, and we'll get you all squared away. And again, it's not just a, a guide. It's If there's any patch that changes any of this, we're going to update it for you. And also, it's not just a guide that is based on the Seattle Bunch. It's actually a guide that is based off of all Gun Bunch formations in the game. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to get that guide, there's a link in the description, and you can get it for just $15.